What's up guys, Dave here. We're back with another episode from the Xbox Ambassador series. Today I'm going to show you how to remap the buttons on your pad. So to do this we go over to My Games and Apps. We make our way down to Apps. We go along to the Xbox Accessories. From here we click Configure. And from this point, this is where we can start making changes. So you will always be able to restore your configurations to default. If you've got the Elite Pad, you've got two different sets of configurations you can go for. So if you go down to Config 1, and from here you can go to Edit. Right, so your first option is Button Mapping. If you go into there, you'll see that you can select which button you want to select. So for example, if you want your A button if you want so for example if you want your A button to become B you simply select A button then you want to map that to your B button so from now on when you hit A it'll become B simple as simple does and you can do this to all your buttons you can even swap your sticks around from here invert your access swap your triggers just click done once you've done that now what you can do in these other parts you can change the default center of your joysticks if you look you can set it at any point so this is where your pad would default to as well as that we have the triggers now this is cool for hair triggers if you look if you press it all the way down it shows you the pressure that you can put down on the left hand side and right hand side you can change this so what will happen now i'll have to press the button halfway down before it actually starts registering this is quite good if you want to do some hair triggering so you can get used to that pressure point now the vibrations we can change the vibrates so what we have here is we have the left and right main these are the parts that sit in your palm and the triggers are r2 and l2 they're the trigger buttons and you can change these so you can either put it all the way down and turn it off or have it on high also what we can do is we can change the brightness of the xbox button this is quite handy if you do have an elite pad and you have two configurations you can set one as bright and one as dim so at a glance you can see exactly what it's on and if you do mess anything up, there's the restore to default button. Now what you also have within here, you have community configurations. Now it's been set up for certain games. You see, you've got your, your Forza Motorsport, so you can have your manual with and without clutch. You've got your various other games. Some of these are really handy. If you're into all your first person shooters, you'll be able to find one for most of those. From here, you could even create your own one, give it a name. And that's you all done. You can remap anything. If you've got an elite pad, you can turn those triggers into whatever you want. Go nuts. If you like the video, guys, hit the like button. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Take it easy, and I'll see you next time.